<laughs> uh, George Parr, uh, you are an investment banker. I am, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, could you explain the credit crunch? Certainly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Well, um, um, as I say, the, 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 the banking structure is very, is very delicate. It's a delicate machine, mm. and it needs something to oil it with, like milk. <laughs> you oil the machinery with milk? Yes, you, oil, you, you, you need something that you can, um, you can pour into a cup and drink, or you can, you can give it to somebody else to drink, or you can take it away, or you can put two straws in it and you can share. <laughs> yes. And what happens, you see, if, if somebody suddenly says, out of the blue, I'm not going to take any of your milk because I might think it's off. And um, <laughs> then I'm not going to give any of your milk. And then all the milk is standing around and gets rancid and hardened. And then when you get hard milk, what do you get? Uh, cheese. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's more like a jelly. It wobbles, you see, and at this point, the, the, the man in the street turns to his wife and says, Irene, or whatever her name happens to be, um, <laughs> we can't have that new house you wanted because all the milk has turned to jelly. <laughs> I hope that's clear. Yes, but isn't the real cause of this crisis the fact that for years the banks have been lending huge amounts of money to people who can't possibly pay back? That's, that's uh, very, very simplistic. Um, the... <laughs> The, the, a banker can't possibly know the circumstances of each individual borrower. I mean, he, the, the, somebody who comes for a mortgage wants to borrow something, unknown to the bank, he might, having, might have his grand, grandfather living with him. And, again, unknown to the bank, his grandfather might be incontinent. Uh, which <laughs> the, 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 the borrower has to spend large chunks of his income on new underpants, on coloss <laughs> colossomy bags, on, on, on recarpeting the lounge every three weeks. <laughs> And, um, you see, we have to come up with systems and ways of, of, of allowing for that. And what systems have you come up with? Well, <laughs> our boffins have thought of some very complex uh, financial instruments. Do you know what a collateralised debt obligation is? Uh, no. Do you... <laughs> you know what a structured investment vehicle is? No. Yeah, that's a bit neither do I. <laughs> Well, and we, we have these things, these CDOs and SIVs, and we put all the dodgy mortgages and the incontinent grandfathers in them. <laughs> and then, hey presto, the credit rating agencies uh, call them triple A. And what does that mean? It means almost zero probability of loss. And what happens next? What happens next was that uh, the word almost came to haunt us, rather. That, um, <laughs> and, uh, well, it was, it, was, it was ghastly, because at four o'clock, my CDOs were AAA. At ten past four, they, they were all junk, and they, they'd gone into EOD. EOD? Event of default, which meant they were WBA. WBA? Worth bugger all. <laughs> so, what are you going to do about it? Well, of course the market and the city is very resilient, very innovative, very, very wise. And it's always found the big idea. And what is the big idea? The big idea this time was to all go and have breakfast with Gordon Brown <laughs> and then to completely ignore anything he asked us to do. <laughs> but at least we got a free breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the worst crisis mm. in the finance uh, that we've ever had. Yes. I mean, there, a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a rumour that the Halifax Bank of Scotland had H run H out of money. HBOS, yes. Uh, yes, yes, and that would, that would bring the whole system <clears throat> down. Yes, but that rumour was found to be false. Really? Mm. Well, I've heard a rumour that the rumour wasn't false, the rumour was true. What? What? <laughs> what, 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 what? Where did you hear that? Well, there you are, you see. Don't what? you realise the danger to the markets when they're affected by this kind of speculation? Yes, but, well, um, a very uh, notable commentator on, on the markets said recently that um, the banks believe they would be uh, less vulnerable to speculation if the Bank of England made good any holes in their finances. So, what you're saying is that you can ask 
for any amount of public funds at any time you want. No, 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 that would be ridiculous. No, no, <laughs> we, 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 we didn't that. We asked for the Bank of England to swap their real money with these CDOs and things which have all the uh, incontinent grandfathers in, in it. So the situation is that if you make profits, you keep them, and if you make losses, we pay for them. That sounds good to me, yes. <laughs> But you must realise that in return for all this public money, you're going to have to accept much tighter regulation. Oh, no, that's out of the question. No, I mean, that would, <laughs> that would fly in the face of the principle of free markets, and which um, has been the basis of New Labour's economic policy for the last 11 years. But you're going to have to change. Hey, you well, have no choice. Well, yes, we do. We can, uh, people like me earn millions of pounds a year. We can go abroad and work. We can go to the United States and work. But they have their own people ruining their financial system. <laughs> they, they don't need any more. Well, all right. OK, if we are going to be regulated, we'll do it under one condition. Which is what? That the people doing the regulation are the Financial Services Authority. <laughs> but they're the people that completely failed in the case of Northern Rock. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and I am going to move my bank's headquarters to the Shetland Islands. For what reason? Well, if the SFA weren't prepared to go to Newcastle to check on Northern Rock, they're certainly not going to go up there, are they? <laughs> Thank you very much, Gregor.